uh, this morning. I know it makes Greg Stump excited. He's a, a ski filmmaker. You may have heard of him. He's produced and made some of the most well-known ski films ever in the industry, and we're very pleased to have you on this on the show this morning. My pleasure is mine. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, I want to get to your newest film here in just a second, but first, I, I want to talk to you about The Blizzard of Oz, uh, the film that's, that really put you on the map, and many people point to it as one of the best ski films ever made. Tell me about what it's like maybe 20 years later looking back at, at that project. I'm still embarrassed of the narration, right? <laughs> you know, you, the sound of your own voice sometimes is... Uh, but no, it's, I, it, that movie had legs, uh, and I, I, it, the word extreme, it wouldn't have existed in North America without uh, that film. Certainly. I mean, a lot of people credit you as being one of the first people to, to add music to these films, to feature snowboarders in, in ski films. Uh, I do want to take a look at some of the technology, the way things have changed. Of course, everybody now has access to these little GoPro cameras, you know, but back in your day, things were a little different. Let, let's actually take a quick look at how far some of the technology has come here. <laughs> you do yours a lot of times wearing a, uh, a helmet cam. <laughs> the, the, what did you call it? The bowling ball cam? Well, you know, those are actually, uh, it, they're, they, they, those are gazaps. They were gun sight aiming positioning cameras used in World War II before video. They put those cameras on the wings of planes to, to analyze how uh, accurate their arm bombs were, seriously. Amazing. I know, and that's what those things were. And those were so a bunch of them left over, and that was what you used for, as a portable camera. Um, you know, way, way before the GoPro. The other side's just a battery. Wow. Like one side's a camera, the other side's a battery, then the bowling ball helmet. <laughs> and that weighed 25 pounds? It was. My goodness. Well, now, I mean, tell me a little bit about, you know, how things have changed. Now everybody, it seems, has access to these little GoPro cameras. How has that changed what you do as a ski filmmaker? Oh, I quit long before the GoPro came out, you <laughs> see. But isn't it fantastic? I mean, what a wonderful thing. Like, everyone can try to, everyone can make their own movies and stuff. It's fabulous. Right. Well, you've certainly been making movies. Your newest one, The Legend of Oz, sort of takes a look back at The Blizzard of Oz, as some of the footage we're seeing here now. And you have two screenings here in Missoula tonight, uh, one at 7 o'clock, one at 9 o'clock at the Crystal Theater. People can pick up tickets at the Southside Kettle House Brewery. But what's this tour been like? You've put on a lot of miles touring around the country promoting this film. Oh, it's been fun. Some nights there's 550 people, other nights there's 10. <laughs> it, it sort of fluctuates. It's it, the roller coaster tour. Uh, where have you gone on this tour? Well, we've been in Squaw, Aspen, Telluride, Moab, uh, Portland, here, <laughs> uh, you know, Breckenridge. It just fun shows in ski towns, and uh, the audiences have been very appreciative, and it's been really fun. I can imagine. Well, of course, you know, The Blizzard of Oz is one of those iconic ski movies. Do you get a lot of people coming up to you telling you, I remember the first time I saw that movie, or I have a special memory about that? It's amazing, right? You know, it's, it's one, I, so many people, and it's the ultimate compliment, say, well, that film changed my life. You know, it made me make new decisions about where, you know, go west, young man, or, or you know, but, but it's what a great compliment, you know, to have people tell you that. Well, uh, I can tell you, I have my own special memories of watching that on the old VHS as well, so... Uh, Thanks for everything you do, and certainly want to get the word out again. It is The Legend of Oz, taking a look back at The uh, Blizzard of Oz. It screens twice tonight here in Missoula, 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock at the Crystal Theater. And if you're interested, you can get tickets at the Southside Kettle House Brewery. Baba booey, fuffa fooey. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Stump, thank you so much for joining us on Montana this morning. Thanks for having me.